Okay, good evening. It's uh, 8.29 Wednesday, May 11, 2022. Welcome to the Upper Zoom Prayer Meeting. All right, guys. Good evening, good evening. Let's start. And... Uh, Let's start from the very big... Praise report muna tayo. Any praise report kay Jan? Praise report. Siyempre, Mother's Day celebration, praise report yun. No? Uh, salamat sa mga kalalakihan na nagpagod, di ba? At saka sa mga youth, di ba? Sila yung naging food line, di ba? Plus, uh, yung worship team, di ba? Ang ganda ng uh, worship natin no Sunday. Sarap, di ba? So, everything went well. Walang nanggugulo, di ba? Effective yung mga prayer ng board, di ba? So, continue lang tayo mga board every 8.45. Uh, pag-pray lang natin, specifically yung service, worship, sermon, courtyard. No? Ultimo yung uh, uh, nanggulo noong ano, eh, tumapit siya, no? humingi siya ng uh, paumanhin. So nag-sorry siya doon sa mga. Nag-sorry siya sa akin, sabihin ko daw sa inyo, sa mga piging, na hindi niya na ulitin yun. Okay, so naimasmasa naman. Hindi na rin bumalik si Pogi. So... <laughs> Pag bumalik siya, masya ng rehas. <laughs> so, ano pa ba? Ano pa ba nangyari nun? Uh, gusto ko yung, ano, yung, yung kantahan. Eh. Napaka-spontaneous. Yung nangharana sila. Yung uh, men, men's ministry. Di ba? Tatawa eh. Di ba? Galing, no? Meron pang choir director. Tatanda! Talagang ano eh. Isa pa. Tatanda! Oh, <laughs> choir director. <laughs> Nakatawa lang, napaka-spontaneous nila, kumanta sila bigla. Tapos ano, parang it made the atmosphere lighter, tapos masaya. Ganda nga eh. Uh, sarap ng food, di ba? Oh. Sakto lang yung food. Galing ano. <laughs> May buko juice pa. Yeah. So, thank you din sa mga nag, uh, nag-ayos ng mga backdrop, yung namili ng mga gamit, di ba? Tapos, nagustuhan nyo ba yung bracelet nyo? Di ba? O, oh, meron pa sa Sunday. Nako, pakita natin kaya para ma-excite. Kasi makita. Yung surprise sa inyo. <laughs> Gusto daw makita ni Mama. Kasi makita? Ito, nandito. Nakita ko dito. Eh. <laughs> Sabi ni Mama, hindi na doon natikman yung buko juice. Sinaos ko na nga yung voucher sa pinto para hindi ko maiwan eh. <laughs> okay. Ito. Ito na sa pinto. Ay, ito kasi. Game na ba kayo? May ginastosan namin to ah. Mataas ang, uh, ano, mataas ang budget. At si Jasmine excited mo. Si Ranger. Naku, BBM ang kulay. <laughs> <laughs> BBM! Ito pa. Okay, teka. Hanes yan ah. Hanes ah. Hanes. So, tinaasan natin ang kalidad ngayon. Ayan, 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 Dapat may disclaimer. Uy, may maganda rin ano, yung mga nagpa, yung mga nagpa, ano, nagpa... Diba yung sapatos? <laughs> yung mga nagpa, ano, nagpa, tawag nito? Sure. Teka, tanggalin ko muna itong share. Nagpa, nagpa, baptized. Ah. Meron din sila. Oo. Oh. Kaya, tingnan nyo. Oo. Oh. Ganda rin. Haynes din, Haynes. Haynes ba to? Ay, hindi, hindi, Haynes. <laughs> Ayan, no? Ayan, no? Old you are the old. and the... Oh, the, ano old, the old has gone, the new has come. Lafurnas.org. Oh, di ba? So, kung hindi pa, kung, kung nagpa-baptize na kayo, pero mas feel nyo na isolemnize siya sa Kasi may mga nagpa-baptize na. Bang, baga, 
hindi pa nila masyado naiintindihan. Eh ngayon, kung nasa mas naiintindihan niya na at gusto niyong magpa-baptize, hindi naman masama yon sa, mm-hmm. sa, ano, sa may July 1, 2, and 3, makareceive kayo ng t-shirt na yan. So, yan. Sabihin niyo lang kay Pastor Clint kung gusto niyong magpa-baptize. Pastor, hindi. Pastor, hindi ganun. Kung gusto niyong magka-t-shirt, magpa-baptize kayo. <laughs> <laughs> Mag naman yung t-shirt. Kailangan Mali. talaga. Mali. Kailangan Mali. legit Mali. talaga na ano. Dapat legit. Ay, nalaglag. Ay. Pakisuyo na lang. <laughs> Dapat legit talaga na kailangan mo ng baptism. Una, kung first timer ka, pangalawa, yung first baptism mo, hindi ganun ka meaningful. No? At gusto mo maging meaningful dahil you found a family, you found a... Uh, kung baga naintindihan mo yung baptism, you need to declare Jesus as your personal Lord and Savior. So, mag-perfect timing ang camp. Plus, may t-shirt ka pa. Di ba? Uh, si Job nga, eh, taon-taon, nagpapabaptize yan para sa t-shirt. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> eh, joke lang yun sa akin, Pastor. Lumagpas na sa langit. Eh. <laughs> Ayan. Praise report. Anong praise report natin? Kaya, anong praise report niya? Anybody? Nagawa mo ko ito. Praise report ko. I thank God dahil God has blessed our church mm-hmm. at masaya tayong lahat. We are okay. united. Amen. Amen. God. Praise God. Masaya yung church natin nga. Totoo po yan. Uh, blessed ako sa, sa church natin. Yes, uh, Anastasios. Uh, praise report ko po, Pastor, yung uh, pinagaling po ako ni Lord kasi nagka uh, sore throat. Nagka sore throat po ako nung Thursday. And then up to uh, Saturday, nagpa-practice kami. Masama na po pakaramdam ko nun eh. Mm-hmm. Uh, pinagaling po ako ni Lord, nakapag-lead po ako ng worship ng Sunday. Yeah, at yung ganda pa yung, ano, ano, yung, yung worship, no? Nakaka, nakakatuwa. Kumbaga, eh, di ba sabi ko sa iyo nung Sunday, ano, his strength is made perfect in your weaknesses. Di ba? Apo. Di ba? So, kumbaga, ano yun eh, uh, kumbaga magtiwala lang tayo. So, Apo. yan lang. Nakakatawa. Then, seryoso po ako, Pastor, kung kailangan niyo po ng tuner, may extra po ako. Ay, hindi ko gitara yun. <laughs> hindi ko. Seryoso po ako. Mayroon po ako guitar tuner. Hindi ko po ginagamit. Kung gusto niyo po mag-tune na ng gitara. Ano yun, nasa Point Loma kami, gitara ng roommate ni Kled. Magigitara sana o kaso wala sa toon mo. <laughs> Matagal na yun, kaya nang pa ba yung Kled? Mga 2-3 years ago na siguro yun. Oo. Yung video na yun. Oo. Praise report pa? Praise report? Yung sinaing, hindi na na napindot di ba <laughs> mas ba, mas mati daw ba, mas bati rice mas bati <laughs> sino ba nagsabi si Cyrus mas bati rice si Kuya Cyrus po bali mas bati rice na napindot siya maraming mainit ang ulo <laughs> ante di double check ata ni si Sir Jasmine eh. Ah, uh, na-enjoy niya naman si Sir Jasmine yung ano, parang hindi kayo sanay ano. <laughs> para... Salamat po ako kasi ano, magaan po yung aming mga life ng mga sanay. Nakatulog po kami na maayos. <laughs> relax na relax ba? Parang hindi kayo sanay, ma. parang gusto niyo gumalaw eh. Parang oh, nang hangat yung mga kamay niyo eh. Di ba? Nawa nga po ako kay Faith kasi hindi dami yung hinugasan. Nakailang balik siya. Sister Faith, okay ka ba talaga? <laughs> Nung Saturday night night nga po eh, parang may kulang sa akin. Parang meron ako, parang meron akong di nagagawa. <laughs> Nasaan po siya nga na may niluluto nung Saturday night. Saturday night pa lang, oo. Oh, oh, oh. Yan, saya-saya nung, ano, nung Mother's Day talaga. Nakakatuwa. Yeah. Ano pa? Ano pa nga praise report? Siguro ako, Pastor Jeff. Mm-hmm. Hindi ko alam kung ipipraise report ko na ba siya. Ano yan? Hindi, ano, nag-email sa akin yung school. Oo. So, so nire-review na nila yung application. Kasi inaayos nila yung I-1, yung I- form I-20 ko na kailangan mm-hmm. for F1 visa. So, ang sabi sa 
Ang sabi sa akin, mag-summer session 2 na daw ako. So that would be June 29. Eh ayoko muna kasi may family camp ng July. Uh-huh. One to three. So parang uh-huh. ayokong nag-aaral habang nandun sa family camp. Uh-huh. Tapos enrollment season yon, So baka magkaroon ng conflict. So sabi ko, is it possible to enroll on uh, fall season one? Sabi nila kailangan daw before mag-expire yung I-94 ko, which is July 26. So ang sabi nung school, no admissions department, sige mag-fall season one ako, pero gagawin na lang nilang July 18 yung program start date ko. So, uh-huh. yeah, adjust na lang daw nila. So, yeah. may favor. That's good. So, may... Tsaka ano, may mga changes dun sa affidavit of support. Kasi nagtaas yung tuition fee this year. Ako ko pong pangyayon. Ah, ganun, sakto. <laughs> nagtaas pa. <laughs> Oo oh, nga, nagtaas nga kahit sa... Kalman lang nga, nagtaas pa. <laughs> Pero yung ano, yung so, kinunta ko yung nagbigay sa akin na affidavit of support. Ayun, very willing sila na ibaguhin ulit yung documents. Ganyan. So, very supportive. So, That's Ayun. good. Ang blessing. Oo. So, provision lang talaga. Napakamahal ng tuition dito. I know. Sorry, kasi oh. po ako ng libre sa UP. <laughs> Di ba, Le, mad- mad- matagal-tagal ka naman nakalibre. <laughs> <laughs> mal, mal pa rin. Para ako nag-exclusive. Pawin mo na lang pagka nagka-anak ka na. Yung mga anak mo, libre naman eh. Mula elementary na high school. <laughs> Bawi naman. Ayan. Nakakatawa. Ayan. Anybody else? Praise report? Ikaw, Teacher Mini, may praise support ka. Nakain ako ng ice cream habang nag-iisip kayo. <laughs> yeah, food coma ako ngayon eh. Food coma ka ba? Kaya kumakain ako ice cream eh. Parang naralasahan ko pa yung Korean barbecue. Ice cream yan dito pa. Oo, Birthday kasi ni Job sa Friday. Inagahan na namin yung celebration. Kasi nasa, ano eh, nasa ano tayo nun eh. Nasa bundok. Uh, kumain kami sa Korean barbecue. So, Ay, sa report, tumais. Ay, si Jante ko si Job. <laughs> okay na yung sleep niya uli. Nabalik na sa... Hindi na siya nagbabantay ng bahay ng madaling araw. So, mamaya tulog na yan. <laughs> uh, uh, panalangin lang may panalangin. Ano pa? Ano ako pastor, sishare ko lang. Uh, ako si Sen, kasi ano last Thursday, di ba nagkaroon sa school ng tip-tip ng job fair? Ang dami ko sa website. Tapos may nakita ako doon sa Universal Studio. Di, excited si tip-tip. Para ma- gusto ko lang ma-experience niya paano mag-apply. Nagpunta yeah, yeah. Kami, yeah. Nagpunta kami sa Universal Studio, tinanong ko kung... Kasi yung mga job na offerings doon para sa buong universal. Kaya lang ang opening nila, mga cook, mga cooking related sa kitchen. Sabi ko, pwede ako dito. Kaya lang, Monday to Saturday, nakatayo maghapon. Sabi ko, hindi kaya nakatawag ko sa ganitong trabaho. Since yeah. this direction, nag-apply ko. Sabi ko, eh, gusto do- sabi ko, graduate ka ng computer, tech tech computer course, eh, tapos kukunin mo cook. Gusto niya talaga yung sa cook kitchen, ganyan. Eh, di naman siya nagluluto. Pero may, may training naman training sila. Sabi ko sige, for exp- pero pinag exp- pinag apply ko siya. Tapos sabi, mm-hmm. in interview siya ganyan, sabi ko deaf tumatanggap naman daw sila ng deaf ganyan. Tapos sabi ko, ah, uh, paano malalaman kung tanggap ba siya o hindi? Although pinag-prepare ko sana huwag matanggap. Ano <laughs> <laughs> naman? <laughs> hindi, kasi, hindi ko ano yung gabi yun eh, hanggang gabi eh, malayong universal, di ba? Hindi tita, pag pray na natin matanggap para meron kaming discount. Sa ah? <laughs> universal sa loob pa so, sa mga tindahan. Mga tindahan lang. Oo nga po. Doon sa loob yun eh. Sa oh, ano? Sa, yes. sa, sa, sa ano ba? Uh, sa walk? Sa, sa may, walk. Oo. Oh, oh, sa, ah, sa walk lang. Oh, oh. Mm-hmm. Yung sa taas. Yeah. Tapos ngayon sabi niya tatang, susulatan na lang daw siya sa email. Kaya araw-araw binabantayan niya yung email niya. Yeah. At, at na-excite siya. At yeah, yaya mo lang tita. Pakawalan oh. mo lang para talagang ano. Uy, ano sabi ko, Pastor Jeff, pakawanan lang ni Mama. Oo. Ma- <laughs> an- an- release mo lang. Kung baga, uh, eventually yan, masasanay ka rin. Nasanay ka lang kasi nalagi mo siyang kasama. Eh, kaya mamimiss mo. Eh. Kasi kailangan niya rin yun para sa kapakanan niya. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Tsaka para meron kaming ticket sa inabasa. 
Hindi, <laughs> 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 kasi kung excited siya, ibig sabihin talaga, gusto-gusto niya. Tsaka may training naman dito sa Amerika. Lahat dito, kahit hindi mo linyat, hindi akang training. Oo, oh, yun nga. Yun nga sabi may training. Tsaka tumatanggap daw sila ng, ano, ng hearing impaired, mga ganyan. Marami naman daw doon. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ayos yan. Okay. Sige. Meron pa ba? Praise report pa ba? Kamusta na si Jai? Okay na si Jai? Magaling na ba si Doc Willie? Okay. okay na po siya kasi may dala po pala si nanay na antibiotic, biopolo. Oh, oh, oh. Binigyan nga ako eh ng by Jessie. <laughs> by Jessie. <laughs> guess, so, meron. Yes. Malungkot si Jai na parang matamlay siya nung Sunday. Eh. Opo. Sabi po na ng ba't di ka na lamay yun dito? Marami yung gagawin kasi hindi, hindi, hindi kumikibo ng mga five minutes. <laughs> si Jai. Oh. So, at saka po, uh, na-praise report din kasi si Kuya, si Kuya Adrin din po na, na okay po, naging successful din po yung praise and worship namin sa Sunday. Kasi po, uh, ano yan eh, pag every Sunday, kapag, lalo na kapag praise and worship leader ka, talagang itetest ka talaga ng ano oh, yan. Lagi may atake. Eh. Oo. Oh, uh. Oh, sa lalo na sa bawa ikaw yung preacher. Oh, kaya basta okay. uh, may gagawin kang something na importante. Atakin ka talaga. Oh, okay. pero ano naman eh, ah, uh, kukuberan ka naman ng Dios. Yeah, yun po. Yun yun po yung praise report. Po. Yeah. Uh, ang tanong ko si Emmanuel is Acevedo ba at saka yung na, as husband ni Mami Charit. Isa lang ba yun? Isa lang po no? Kasi na doble ko yung prayer request niya dito eh. Ayan, Emmanuel Isabedo. Asibedo. So, money rin ang pangalan niya kasi. So, tanong ko lang. Uh, pakita ko lang. Uh, okay na ba si Lisel? Ayan ako lang Ay, dito. Oh, hindi pa po. Hindi pa. Ayan na natin. Taka, i-stop ko muna yung ano. Pause ko muna yung recording. Alright, balik tayo. Tapos na tayo sa praise report and prayer request. Punta na tayo sa tandaran. Sister Rachel, ang second Wednesday for the month of May. <clears throat> Pagbubulay-bulay sa salita ng Diyos. At ito ang kanyang uh, yun yung, ano, verse. Okay, go ahead Sister Rachel. Hello po, good evening. So, nakuha ko po itong verse na to. Habang pinapakinggan ko po yung line-up natin for Sunday. Kasi ang line-up ko ni Ate Faith is, Adonai, Lord of all, and then I give you my heart. And then, habang no, after po nung botohan, parang yung Adonai, parang exact po yung parang timing niya for for this week, ganun. And sabi po dun sa 1 John 2.17, And this world is fading away, along with everything that people crave. But anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. So, yun po ang, ang ano po, bali po ang mga share ko dito. So, yung viewpoint po ng isang tao ay kakaiba sa viewpoint ng taong uh, looking at God's perspective. Yung panahon po natin ngayon ay nagpo-focus na po sa fleshly desires, material things, or treasures, or power na naglalaho din naman. And dapat po hindi tayo magkling sa mga bagay na ito at sa mga bagay na makamundo. Sa verse po na ito, may dalawang statements na sinabi. Ang una po sabi, the person who does the will of God will abide forever. Yung pangalawa naman po ang sabi, the one who does not do the will of God and clinging to the worldly things will thrown into the fire and will suffer eternal loss. Sabi po, the fear of the Lord and reverence for His name is the beginning of wisdom. How important, therefore, to, inv- to invest our lives wisely in this world and to seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness. The riches and poverty, pleasures and passion, beauty and bitterness, fame and shame, of this perishing world are short-lived. But the things of the Lord are permanent, pure, good, secure, and of everlasting value. Let us set our hearts on the things of God for the one that looks away from the world 
to Jesus will never be disappointed. So, yun po. Kasi parang hugot, hugot verse ko to for, for this whole week sa lahat po ng parang nangyayari. I mean, kahit naman po kasi nandito tayo sa Amerika, syempre, um, affected din po tayo sa nangyayari sa Pilipinas kasi may mga pamilya tayo nandun, friends, ganun, mga churchmates, dating churchmates. So, um, parang ang reflection ko po sa for this week and <clears throat> dito po sa verse na to na parang um, parang yung discuss po namin last week sa sa youth na parang um, I remember si Ate Faith in ano niya parang yung discuss po namin doon is yung parang yung mga signs of times so so yun po parang um, ito na yung mga parang pinapakita sa atin na parating na si Lord pero for us believers we are excited sa sa ganung panahon kasi alam natin kung ano yung totoo and alam niyo po yun yung parang alam natin yung katotohanan and na uh, kay Lord po tayo so um yun lang po kasi um nagdan nag-iiba na yung mundo parang puro worldly things na puro pera na lang puro kayamanan na lang puro power na lang so hindi po nila alam yung tunay na treasure na kung na kay Lord po sila, they will live forever po. So, yun po. Yun po yung masyashare ko tonight. Baka po kayo, may gusto kayong i-add. <laughs> ba, may gusto kayong i-add. Kalagay naman sa Bible, ano eh? At the end times, people will, will be lovers of themselves, di ba? Given na yun. Mangyayari at mangyayari. Pero one good thing I like about this verse, sabi dito, but anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. Di ba? So it's a promise for the believers. Di ba? Alam niyo, si Satan, hanap damay na lang yan kasi talo na yan 2,000 years ago. Eh. Pero supposedly, kung masipag siyang maghanap damay, dapat mas masipag tayong mga krisyanong maghanap damay. Kasi by default naman, everybody will go to hell. Unless, diba, unless you accept Jesus Christ. Even, even tayo. Supposedly, we are bounded to hell. Papunta tayo dun. But we were saved. No? And uh, we choose Jesus. So, dapat hanap damay din tayo. Kaya nga tayo nagpapakapagod, nagpapakahirap, nag talagang doing all the sacrifices para mahatid yung tao sa simbahan. Madala sila sa simbahan, makapaniwala sa Diyos. Eventually, mabago yung buhay. Katulad siya nasabi ni Tita Fe kanina, masaya siya kasi nakabless yung church. Actually, hindi lang naman yung number. Masaya tayo kasi talaga we've grown. We've grown so much. Ano yun? Na ako, uh, I'm, sabi ko nga, 50, masaya na ako eh. Alam mo yun? Uh, kasi madaling i-maintain yun. Madaling tawagan, madaling hanapin bilang pastor. Ah. Pero now we're almost 100. We have this uh, kumbaga, uh, potential to become of 150 and 200 church. But sa akin, ang pinaka, pinaka na-appreciate ko talaga um, o oh, ang mas ginugol ko eh, yung quality of life ng mga, mga nagsisimba. No, kasi madami nga tayo pero out of 100 sampu lang ang may quality of life. ba? Diba? Pero ngayon makita mo ang ang workers natin nasa 50-60. So I mean that ang dami noon, ang dami nating workers. So ibig sabihin pag nag-worker ka, yung maturity level mo ibig sabihin tumaas from being spiritually dead, you go to spiritual infancy, you go to spiritual child, magiging spiritual child ka and then magiging spiritual young adult, and then magiging spiritual parent. Pag nag-worker ka, it's either paalis ka ng spiritual children, papunta ka ng spiritual young adult. So, tapos ang goal natin, maging spiritual parent sila. Kasi ang difference lang naman ng spiritual young adult and spiritual parent, parehas silang spiritual matured, pero ang parent may anak. Ibig sabihin, may disciple. Di ba? So, yun ang goal natin, makapag-disciple tayo para maintindihan na marami yung discipleship. 
So once sana na elevate natin yung kalidad ng mga ng mga mga spiritual lives sa mga tao na nagsisimba sa atin, that is something, no. At uh, ako nakikita ko naman siya, nakikita ko siyang umaakyat, no. So masaya kasi halimbawa mga 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 manifestation ng ano ng uh, spiritual maturity. Oh, ang dami nang tumutulong ngayon. Sa ano, sa nagsi-serve. That's a sign of spiritual maturity. 'Di ba? Ang dami na ngayon na nagvo-volunteer. Ang dami na ngayon na workers, 'di ba? Tapos makikita mo yung yung bang uh, they're not doing it kasi wala nang gagawin nito kaya kailangan gawin ko na. They're doing it kasi masaya sila. 'Di ba? And for people na to stay there until 3 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the afternoon, magkwentuhan lang para ayaw maghiwa-hiwalay, that is a good fellowship. Alright? Kasi may spontaneity. No? Mayroong may tinatawag na w- walang pretension. No? It's a, kumbaga, that's the kind of Christianity na gusto natin. And it's a practice towards ano, pagpunta natin sa heaven. Diba? So talaga mag-fade ang mundo na to, no? at lahat ng meron sa mundo na to pero lahat ng taong nagki-crave sa Panginoon yun yung alam mo yun sabi nga pag naging Christian ka you don't have to wait na for you to die to experience heaven in fact Christianity or eternity nag-start yan ang tinanggap mo si Kristo na na experience mo siya no, ako I feel like I'm in heaven pag nasa courtyard ako eh I don't know with you <laughs> Parang sarap ng feeling. No? Misan po ka lang doon, masaya ka. Kita mo yung mga tao, nakangiti, kumakaya, nagtatawanan. Di ba? Alam nyo, yun yung picture ng heaven. Sa totoo lang. Kasi eternal life no? ng fellowship. Walang pipigil sa atin doon. Mag-fellowship, grabe. Saya. Palaki yan na lang ng bahay. <laughs> Kasi nakalagay yung reward mo. Malaki bahay mo pag marami kang natangay. Di ba? Ay, dapat galaw-galaw tayo. Pwede naman kayong bumisita sa bahay ko. Next. <laughs> Malaki yung bakuran ko. <laughs> How about you guys? Ano masasabi niyo sa verse na to? Share ko ulit. Sige, teacher Mini, mukhang nag-aamba ka na eh. Mukhang rumi-ready ka na. <laughs> And the Sige world na. is taking away. Paano na? Pabakasyon na, naka-welcome back to school ka pa? Love na love mo yung school para talaga. Yung, para yung spirit ng ano, excitement nandiyan pa rin. Uh, Di ba? Nox na, dedicated Dapat worker. Consistent. Dapat ah. consistent kang nagtatrabaho kahit na <laughs> mga estudyante mo, ano na, lutang na. <laughs> <laughs> yan talaga to it's very relevant kasi you would see a lot of uh, I mean even students alam mo yun, in general lahat at ng tao they don't even know the, the problem is like the world doesn't know na nag fade away na yung ano yung world Ayan, they think that it's just a uh, transition from one point to another because the the standard has not been set because the standard was removed from what it used to be. You know? So it is a, a responsibility talaga to, to set the standard. Sa kahit saan man tayo, whatever... Uh, place we are right now kung sa trabaho sa bahay the people that we see around us so having a living a righteous life is very ano very relevant at the same time we should ask the grace of god na magreflect talaga yung life ng lord sa buhay natin kasi there would be times na you know that We are weak, we fail. You know, the grace of God, by the grace of God, we stand up and uh, we choose to be righteous. Kaya nga pagka nag-bibirang kami ni Pastor Jeff, eh, kapag uh, 
Nag, nagsusot kami ng ano, yun na may mga damit na ano. Tawag dito yung... Hey, Nazarene. Yung mga pangaran na Nazarene, ganyan. Sabi namin sa ito sa, ingat ka ha. Huwag kang magagayot pag ang suot mo Nazarene, Church of the Nazarene. Ngayari, pupunta ka ng 99 cents. Kasi minsan may tendency ka, nakalagay doon eh. Christian verse pa yung nasa damit mo. Tapos mama, hindi ka nagiging light and salt. Dahil siyempre, mama, magagalit ka dahil may sumingit sa pila. Hindi, yeah, naalala mo yung ano. Hindi ka ng tama. Naka... Munti, munti naka, ka na ako na din. Hindi, hindi. Naka-jacket tayo ng Nazarene. Oh. <laughs> Tapos nakasakay kami sa kotse. Pagpa-park kami ganun. Hindi kami pumasok na batang babae sa Seafood City. Pilipina rin, bata. Naka, papasok na kami doon sa paparkingan. Inagawan niya kami bigla talaga. Pinasok niyang pilit. Sabi ko, oh! Tapos nakita ko, may, may bumati sa akin. Matok sa ano. Pastor Jeff. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Di ba si Ted? Naalala mo? Na, oh, naalala ko. Kaya ingat-ingat na. O, oh, yung tipo, pagalit na ako. Oh! <laughs> sabi ko, sabi ko, sabi ko, matak bigla, tak, 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 tak. Oh, Sir Jeff, kamusta? Uy, kamusta? <laughs> Tapos sa kita namin, naka, talaga. nakanasa rin kami, ano, jacket. <laughs> Yari. <laughs> ako, there was a time talaga, muntik na ako bang may gano'n, nasa 99 cents ako eh, talagang, pinag-init talaga yung dugo ko. Eh. Ako, hindi ko na maalala kung ano, ang rasan eh. Hindi kasi Pero, nakakainis pa, nang pinignan pa tayo ako, ng masama ng batang ano pala babae. Ako? parang Christian shirt na. Yeah. Nung, yung inagawan niya kami ng pwesto sa parking, pagbaba niya, tumingin pa ng masama sa amin. Parang kami pa yung mali. Parang ganun. <laughs> so parang nag-init yung ulo ko. Tapos nung, nung tipong bababa na ako, may kumatok bigla sa kotse. Uy, Pastor Jeff, kamusta? O, oh, kamusta? Ay ko. <laughs> Nakanasa rin t-shirt ko. <laughs> Ngayon dun. Yeah. Tapos katulad nga, yung kaningin na yung sa, sa classroom. I mean, Eh, pero mo, anong nangyari na nga eh, uh, I mean, tinulungan ko na yung bata mag-charge ng laptop sa classroom. Sa area ko, malapit sa akin. Eh, mano ba naman biglang yung bubble gum na nasa bibig, tinapon dun sa spout ng ano, ng kettle ko. O din nakita nung dalawang bata. Ah, Siyempre, ay ko, dapat yung ginawa yan. Sabi ko, tanggalin mo, linisin mo. Alam mo, ang ginawa, binuhos ng ganun yung tubig sa labag. Tapos para tas pag kinuha yung bubble gum, tapos ano, init siya sa ano? Init siya sa wall ko ng classroom. E sabi ko, ay ko, kasi ngayon meron akong tinatry na prinsipi na, alam mo yun na, kalma lang, alam mo yun, hindi mo kailangan magalit. Alam mo yun, kaysa, kaysa magwala ka, ma-high blood ka pa, <laughs> ano mangyari sa buhay mo. Hmm. Sabi ko, sinusap ko yung bata, tinatry kong de-escalate, sabi ko. Ay ko, you will not hear anything from me. Just fix it, clean it up. Alam mo yun. Kung ano yung dinumihan mo, alam mo yun. Pinaboy mo, ayusin mo lang. Eh pero eh, he choose, nag-choose pa talaga, nagwala. Talagang siya pa nagalit. Alam mo yun, nag-walk out pa. Tapos syempre, sabay-sabay yan pag sa classroom eh. Nagle-lesson ako, nagpapakita ko ng video clip. Tapos nag explain ako. Alam mo nagkawala siya. Tapos, I have to stop the movie clip. Then after that, I have to make an incident report right right away. And I have to report sa deans kagad ko na nangyari. Ganun-ganun yung pag sa classroom kasi marami ka talagang ginagawa na simultaneous lahat eh. And you really have to do it like right away. Especially those kind of things. So yun, uh, raise the alert naman syempre. Tapos, plus pa, nabawala pa yung phone ko kanina. <laughs> sa classroom ako, hindi ko alam kung nasaan. So, sa maraming ano, circumstances, then I need to attend to, kailangan kong paalalahanan si Job Dapp sa online. Uh, Ikipag-meet sa classmates niya. Kung so, ano yun? So, ano yun? A lot of things. Kung circa, huh? 1970, kung circa 1970s, 1980s, tapos Philippine setting, nabato na ng eraser yun. <laughs> Naalala niyo nun, pag mainit yung ulo ng teacher ng araw. Ano ko, nag-freeze na yata sa ako. Namilipad hello? yung ere. Hello, hello, hindi, hello, hindi hello. ka nag-freeze. Hindi. hindi ka nag-freeze. Ay, hindi ka, okay ka lang. Na, naalala niyo nun, pag mainit ang ulo ng teacher, lumilipad yung ere. Ang daming nangyari talaga at on instant. Bakit? 
Pastor. Sisingit ako sandali ha. Apo. Um, naabutan. Oo, pero yun na. Nakatapon ng eraser uh, yung teacher. Apo, naabot ko po yun nung sudyante ako. Uh, may teacher kami nang babato ng eraser. Hindi nga lang eraser kung ano madampot, ibinabato. Grabe, <laughs> ano? Hindi, actually, parang hindi bawal yun noon eh, nung araw ah. Hmm. Parang hindi bawal yun, yung sasampalin ka ng teacher, hmm. nung yun, eh. papatukan ka, hihilahin yung patilya mong gano'n. <laughs> yun lang yun, parang, hindi, parang normal lang yun eh. Pero dito, bawal na bawal yun. Makukulong ka dito. <laughs> Kaya dito, ma- ma- ano, magtitimpi ka talaga. Kat- katulad yan yung years ago, nagtuturo ako ng ano, modern in- uh, English. Uh-huh. Tapos di, mayroong pattern yan. And then teacher mo na sundo ng whole class bago row by row. Uh-huh. Pagdating po yung, yung lesson ko was uh, yung uh, agreement uh-huh. between the subject and the predicate. And, uh, um, like nagbibigay ng example, mother drinks milk every day. May inflection yun, di ba? Mother drinks milk every day. Sister drinks milk every day. Tapos isali mo pa yung animal. The dog drinks milk every day. Mali yung drink but uh, acceptable na example para varied yung su- subject. Tapos big, pagdating ko sa second row, sa pag ano ko, mother drinks milk every day. May inflection yun. Mother drinks milk every day. Bigla ba naman sinabi niya instead, utot is coming. Dinaya niya yung inflection. Pagkatapos, paghinga ko, sobra kabaho yung nahinga ko. Higit pa sa nabulok na balot. Ang, ang galit ko sa loob ko, nasusuka ako, pero pinigilan kong Husto yung kaluuban ko. Pilipino yan, tita? Pilipino? Huh? Dito, na sa, dito na sa Amerika, Pilipinas? Doon sa Manila po. Ah, Manila kasi po. nag-demonstrate ako. Kasi national demonstrator ako ng modern English. College po tinuturuan nyo? Uh, ito, I was requested to to grade uh, demonstrate sa grade 6 class. Ah, grade six, kasi six. majority of the teachers knew me inano nila ako kasi national demonstration yun pastor mm-hmm. sobra grabe talaga ang baho <laughs> may imagine po naming lahat dito <laughs> parang ang baho tuloy nga hindi dito sa paligid <laughs> <laughs> ang teacher gusto niyang magalit pero pigilan niya talaga oh, oh, many years ago yun pastor yung panahon ng mga peace corps yun Mm. Mm-hmm. ako nagjo-joke kayo dito. <laughs> ha? Pala, it's coming. <laughs> Uutot is Pero as a, as a teacher, we are being restrained by rules eh. Pero yes. as a Christian, mm-hmm. we should be restrained by the Holy Spirit. Yes. Uh, na kumbaga. Ay, talaga, grabe talaga. Nasusuka ako pastor, sobrang baho. Higit pa ka na bahong bulok na na itlog. <laughs> Bakit na baka convince ng pag-describe niyo? <laughs> Ang grabe kasi paghinga ko, nag-inhale ako, husto-husto nag-inhale ako. Sobrang baho, pastor. Hindi ko halos parang matumba ako sa baho. Ay, talagang tiis. <laughs> Jasmine, tawad na si Jasmine. Ako, Jasmine, ha? Pag, uh, baka ba umali si Aldrin? Nag-inhale ko ang tao. Ay nako, nakakatuwa naman yung mga storya natin. Yeah. Anyway, walik tayo sa ano. Walik tayo. Meron pa ba? May edad ng dun kayo. Napunta kasi tayo sa akin. Okay. And this world is fading away along with everything that people crave. But anyone who does not, but anyone who teaches God will live forever. Everything that people craving, gusto ng tao. No? Sabi ko kasi kanina kasi ano, people is craving the Lord. Eh. Mali pala ako. <laughs> people craving gusto ng tao. Everything that... Baga, lahat ng gusto natin sa mundo at itong mundo na to, mag-fade away. 
Oh, pero yung mga tao na baga nagpi-please sa Lord, ibig sabihin obedient, di ba? Will live forever. Diba? So meron pa ako idadagdag, Pastor ha. Hi, tita. Yung second part of this uh, verse ay maganda talaga. Anyone who does what pleases God will live forever. This uh-huh. speaks about both the earthly and the heavenly life of a person. Uh, uh, as This is proven by the lessons that we have discussed, you know, in the book of Genesis. Uh-huh. Despite anything, any sinful thing, any cheating, any any unfaithfulness, yung napag-aralan natin, uh-huh. uh, any heart that is given to God is always blessed by Him. Amen. Maganda yung napapag-aralan natin talaga sa book of Genesis. That's why I was I was led to announce last Sunday, I was trying to invite people really to be a part of this study group. Kasi um, we are really blessed. You know? Alam ko nga, tita, mag-favorite siya kayo na Sunday. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Una sana ako. <laughs> You know, my heart really goes for the uh, this class, you know, for people who should attend a Bible class, really, because it blesses the heart. Yung lang, tita, wala tayong Bible study sa Friday kasi may youth overnight. Oh. At saka uh, ang gagawin natin sa, 20, sa 20th Friday, dalawang chapters ang kukunin natin kasi magkadugtong oh. na kami. Actually, end na natin ang Genesis sa 20th. Yes. Yes. So, uh-huh. imagine nyo, nabasa na natin yung 50 chapters, 50 Fridays yun. Maganda talaga. I, I really appreciate and thank the Lord for... And that's word for word, Tita. Yes. Yeah. So, kabagay, yung, kasi yung goal natin, yung triangle offense natin, we teach the people how to read the word, word for word, and then try to understand it in a... In a, in a mga in a deeper manner mm-hmm. tapos we teach them how to pray di ba meron tayong ito Wednesday prayer meron tayong minasarin may 35 nights of uh, prayer tapos uh, and then we we teach the people na not to miss uh, their sabbatical duties yung kanilang uh, Sunday service no so is Sunday fellowship so hopefully kapag uh, nag-improve na nag-improve sila doon mas maintindihan nila, magpapabaptize, and then di-disciple natin. Pagka na, 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 nakapag-umpisa na tayo sa discipleship, pupunta na tayo sa mission. Kasi alam na nila eh, yung purpose nila eh. So, mas madali. Di ba? So, and then the next batch of people who will come to church, we will do that again. So, you don't have to, ano eh, yung maganda sa Biblia, you don't have to reinvent the wheel. Di ba? Gawin mo lang yung pinapagawa ni Lord. Sabi, simple lang naman, umalis siya eh. Make disciples of all nations. Baptize them in the name of the Father and the Son of the Holy Spirit. So, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm glad you're enjoying the, ano po, tita, the, the Genesis uh, journey. Papasok na tayo sa Exodus. At yung Exodus naman, halos sire-reviewin na lang natin yan dahil preaching ano naman natin ng Sunday yun. So, kumbaga, uh, doon pa lang mag-ano mag, mag, Kaya ang tao natin, kahit hindi nagbabasa ng Biblia, masasabi mo na nagbabasa sa ng Biblia dahil wala siyang choice eh. Pagpunta nyo ng Sunday, nakasiris naka tayo eh. So, talagang automatic magbabasa siya ng Biblia. Ayan. At saka Pastor, masaya. Masarap makinig ng sermon kasi alam mo yung istorya. Diba? Exactly. Di ba? Pag kinonek, andali. Mm-hmm. Bawa, kinonek na Sunday, kinonek ko yung Exodus, yung Ten Commandments. Alam ng tao eh. Ah, kilala nila si Joseph. Alam kasi, kaka, kaka, yun lang yung pinag-uusapan ng Friday eh. So, Kumbaga, uh, yun yung ano yun yung yun yung beauty ng ng uh, nagbabasa ng Biblia. Kasi ang hirap pag tinuturuan mo puro bago. Tapos hindi nila kilala si Moses, hindi nila kilala si Joshua, yung, yung basic na na historicity ng Biblia, anong connection sa New Testament. So, kumbaga, magbibigay ka lagi ng ano, ang nakaraan, yung backtrack, no? Bibigay ka ng background palagi. So, muubos ang oras yan eh. So ngayon, yung tao natin, nakaano sila? Alam nila, alam nila yung pacing, alam nila kung na, ano nangyayari. Actually, eventually kapag nag-trip to Jerusalem tayo, no, napunta tayong Israel, ma- ma-appreciate nila kasi wow, dito lumakad si Jesus, no? Ito yung itinawid nila, Jordan River. Ito yung desert, 
nakikita nila talaga mata nila makikita nila yung wailing wall yun yung tinayo nila nung time nung nung ano yung, yung, yung temple no so lahat yun ma-appreciate ng tao kasi honestly a lot of Filipinos nakapunta ng ng Israel no pero madami akong Pinoy na, na nakausap na hindi sila ano ha, hindi sila Christian or Christian kasi Catholic no pero in a sense hindi sa di talaga sila nagbabasa ng Bible may ula sila talaga relationship relationship kay Jesus no pag tinanda ng masila kamo centric mo sa Israel ang sagot nila eh, hindi naman masyadong maganda kasi they're expecting Boracay I mean di ba they're expecting na alam mo yon uh, okay lang naman uh, mainit you know, lakad ng lakad ganun hindi hindi hindi, hindi sana yun chan ko sa pagkain mga ganun na sinasabi nila pero once na, na nagbasa ka ng Bible lahat yun ma-appreciate mo yun pati yung si Camor Tridon ma-appreciate mo yun pati yung yung uh, ano yung kinakain natin kina Tita LB ano yung prutas na yun uh, fig tree yung yun ma-appreciate mo yun so kasi na nabasa mo eh. So importante talaga na mabasa mo yung Biblia. At yun yung role din natin. I-kampanya na magbasa sila ng Biblia. Yeah. So, yeah. So, yun. Anything else? May dagdag pa kayo? Pastor, Apo. may add lang pala ako sa prayer. Kanina ko pa iniisip sino yung kausap ko itong itong week na ito na nagsishare. Na, na, kasi ini-invite ko si Trey. Kinala nyo si Alice Adam Brook na kasi Mando, di ba? Apo, apo, apo. Oh. Kasi si Alice, ini-invite ko rin sa church nitong Monday, nitong Sunday. Ka, tapos nalaman ko na hindi pala siya nakakapagsimba ngayon dahil na-diagnose daw siya ng ALS. Oh, ALS. Oh. Alam niyo yung ALS? Opo, oh, yung bakit sa alin? Yung atropic lateral sclerosis. So, hindi, hmm. hirap siya maglakad at saka yung left foot niya at saka siya swallowing niya. Hmm. Mapetuhan. Pati si Mando, di ba? Na-opera hmm. ulit. So, naghihingi siya ng prayer. Sabi ko, basta pagka gumaling ka, dito ko na sa amin. Kasi nung pa yan nililigawan ni Pastor Bert, sumagot sa atin niya. Tita Fe, naka-record tayo. New hope sila, new hope. <laughs> Ay, mga new hope. We love you. Ay, mga pa'y Pastor. Pero sabi kasi ni ano, baka daw lumipat dahil mas malapit sila dito. Saan po ba sila nakatira? Uh, hindi ko alam eh. Pero, di ba, meron siya ng tindahan dito sa ano. May partner siya dito sa Vermont at first. Ah, gano'n? Pinatutulog si Manny. Pastor Lee. Pastor Lee. Hindi kasi alam ko, New Hope sila eh. Uh, inabot ko sila sa... Hindi, si Tita Alice ang inabot ko sa New Hope. Although hindi mm-hmm. siya consistent na ma-attend. Pero, well, he's part of New Hope. Nasa record siya dun eh. Mm-hmm. Pero once naman na, na gusto niyang lumipat, magpaalam lang naman sa kay Pastor Lee. Kasi nung pala sinasabi dahil mas malapit sila eh. Yeah, wala naman problema yun. Basta magpapaalam lang. Yeah. Oo, kasi kung mas makakapag-identify sila or mas may kilala sila dito mm-hmm. or whatever yeah. uh, okay lang naman yung kay Pastor Don so sama na lang natin sa prayer si Alice Apo. pero parang nandito siya ah, no. Alice dati po yata nasa healing siya talaga saan pa? Dati nasa healing na po siya, si Alice Adel. Oo. Oh, okay. Ito lang. Binigay niya pa. Nung, nung inano po, in-update po natin yung list yata. Kasi matagal na po siya natin pinag-pray last year. Oo. Oh. Oh, ayun, naalala ko nga. Pero, nung ang naalala ko dito, walang, ano, walang label. Oo. Ngayon, meron na. Ngayon, o. Nagayon natin na in-need pala niya ng healing. Yeah. So, mhm. Uh-huh. Ayun. Ayan. Basta ka, kung saan siya lalago para sa naman tayo Nazarene. Isang denomination lang tayo. Ayan. Basta pinayagan sila ni ano, ng pastor nila. Eh, okay. Welcome sila. Okay. Sana tayo. Meron pa ba tayong idadagdag doon? Wala na. Pwede na tayo. Manalangin. Okay, nalangin na tayo. Okay. Sige, manalangin po tayo. Simula na tayo. <coughs> uh, ha. Thank you Lord. Salamat Panginoon sa gabi na to. Sa dinadakila ka namin na sa buhay namin Panginoon. Ikaw po ang uh, 
Dapat dapat na sambahin Panginoon, tinataas namin ang pangalan niyo. Kayo po ang mga ha- kayo po ang hari ng mga hari at uh, Panginoon ng mga Panginoon. Kaya dalangin namin, Lord, na na sa aming paglapit sa inyo, Panginoon, uh, pagkalinisan niyo po kami sa mga maling ginawa namin, Panginoon, na isip, na sabi. Uh, pagkalinisan niyo po ang aming mga puso, gawin niyo po kami karapat dapat, Panginoon, sa inyo. Tapos puso po kami nagpapasalamat ma- sa mga personal victories namin, yung mga victories namin sa church, kasama kayo, uh, yung patuloy na pag namin sa will ninyo. Uh, dalangin namin, Panginoon, na uh, Salamat din yung uh, nagpapasalamat din po kami doon sa mga blessings na nare-receive namin at marireceive pa. Panginoon na uh, tin- tinatalaga namin ang gabi na to, Panginoon, upang uh, alam namin bago namin banggitin sa mula sa aming mga labi ay eh, kayo na po ang sumagot mula sa inyong puso, Panginoon. Kaya po dinadalangin namin ang mga sumusunod. Brother Adrian. Mr. the Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you, Lord God, for uh, opportunity na to, to gather, Lord God, and pray to you, Lord God. For it says in your word, Lord God, that when two or more are gathered, you are in their midst, oh Lord God. Salamat po, Lord God, for your presence and for this promise, oh Lord God, and for um, the answering our prayers, Lord God. We thank you in advance, oh Lord. And Lord, we pray for healing after the election, Lord God, na baka po magkagulo. We pray that everybody would have peace and accept uh, the results, oh Lord God. And Lord, we pray that everybody would have unity, Lord God, na wala na pong mag-away-away and uh, makamove on na po and to just individually uh, try to better their lives, Lord God, and help the community, help each other. And um, we pray that uh, may your Uh, grace be upon our home country, the Philippines, O oh Lord. And Lord, we pray for the new president, the new vice president, the senators and local government, Lord God. Lord, we pray that you would anoint them, Lord God, reveal yourself to them if they're not Christians yet, O oh Lord. Lord, we pray for, for uh, change, O oh Lord God, in, in the politics, O oh Lord God, in, in the system, Lord God, sa Pilipinas, O oh Lord God, para pa umundat sila. We pray Uh, born again po sila, Lord God, that they will accept you and um, rebuke all co- a form of corruption or evil, oh Lord God. And uh, we pray that they would uh, have a straight uh, path, oh Lord God, na maging matapat po sila sa kanilang paglilingkod para po sa bayan at sa mga tao po, Lord. And Lord, we pray for Ukraine-Russia war, Lord God, na sana po ay matapos na Uh, kapain niyo po, Lord God, yung puso ni Putin, Lord, na sana po ay um, maisip po niya na marami pong taong namamatay, nadadamay, mga inosente po, Lord God, na magkaroon na po sana ng total peace, oh Lord God. Lord, um, kung ano po man ang dahilan, Lord God, sana po ay uh, ma-reveal na po kung uh, if it is part of the end of days, Lord God, um, we just pray that um, No more innocent people will be harmed, O Lord. Lord, we pray, Lord God, sa buong mundo that uh, more people would be saved, more people will get to know you, more people will get to have a deeper relationship with you, Lord Jesus, Lord God, that more people will um, accept you in their hearts, in their minds, and in their souls, Lord God. Lord, we love you, Lord God, and this we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Yes, God. Um, thank you, Lord Jesus, sa uh, oras na ito. Siya po namin sa inyo ang mga uh, nasa listahan na ito, si Acosta Justin, uh, apo po ni Tito and Sister Fedumo, Jumapaw, Diana Ruth, Ariola, Ira May, Ramos, Antoinette Anabe, Villanueva, Joanne, Valenciano Dean, Taksamanya, Gerard, Banikid, Jade, Alimbuyo, Gwyn, Arnel, Manuel Joel, Kowa William, Naval Harold, Villegas Adis, Kim Yong Jin, uh, Fonseca, Joshua, Santi Eva, San Andres Ruena, San Andres Francesca, Bastaka Aldena, De La Cruz, Leonardo, Gayap, or Ada. Uh, thank you Lord sa buhay nila. Uh, Patnabahin niyo po sila parate, gabayan niyo po siya ang pamilya nila na, na malayo sila sa mga sakit. 
and uh, um, magkaroon sila ng uh, maayos na kalusugan God at malayo sa mga uh, um, sakit na kumakalat ngayon God and patuloy na mas makilala nila kayo na lumago sila sa pagserve sa pagserve sa inyo oh God and um na na uh, na, na patuloy silang um lagi niyo po si, na lahat po ng mga provision and lahat ng mga pangailangan po nila oh God sa pamilya nila is um gabayan niyo po sila God maraming maraming salamat po God in Jesus name I pray amen Uh, Lord, ngayong gabi ito, tinataas din po namin sa inyo yung leadership ng Church of Nazarene. Lord, we pray for the following people, God. Uh, we lift up to you, General Superintendents, Duarte, Graves, Busic, Crocker, Chambo, and Sunberg. Lord, we even pray for the head of the district office, si pa- uh, Pastor Greg, <coughs> Shea, Vanya, all the senior pastors and associate pastors. Uh, the board, God, si Tita Gurley, si Tita Fe, Tita Minda, si Mama, si Rachel, si Pastor Bong. Lord, the pastors of La Filnas Church, God, Pastor Jeff, Pastor Bert, uh, Pastor Bong, uh, Pastor Rave, Pastor Cled, the head of LA First English, uh, Pastor Joshua, Dan, Michael, Pedro, head of LA First Spanish, Juan and Lina. LA First Pray South Korean Sung Dae Kim, David Kim, LA First Arise North Korean Jong Wan Lee, for the head of MCB, uh, Star, Curtis, Nick, Charles, Maynor, and even the citizens of the World Charter School, Silver Lake, and the Pinoy pastors and churches of Covinas, New Hope Nas, Faith Hope, Love Assembly, and even I Radio Lord. I thank you, God, because You are the one God who is in charge, God. And I pray, Lord, that each of these leaders, God, would just continue to draw spiritual strength, God, from you. I pray that you would refresh them even as they refresh others, Lord. I pray that you would bestow upon them wisdom, knowledge, understanding, uh, greater discernment, sensitivity, that you would sharpen, God, their ears to hear your voice. I pray, God, that if whatever needs that they have, whether personal, in their family, in the ministry, that you would step in whatever situation that they are in, Lord. And I pray that you would bless the works of their hands, Lord. Uh, whatever they find to do, Lord, I pray that they would constantly seek your will. I pray even that you would protect their families. God, na no weapon uh, forged against them by the enemy will ever prosper. I pray for a hedge of protection over their homes, protect their resources. I pray for multiplication of their talents, whatever they have, Lord, and that you know, their lives would be a blessing to a lot of people. Bring in people who would just encourage them, build them up, Lord. And I, I just pray, God, that... Um, Pagpalain mo sila, Lord, na makita ng mga tao kung gano'n yung favor mo sa buhay nila. Na, na how you take care of the people who takes care of, of the church, God. So bless them, God, tremendously. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for answering all our prayers. And we continue to live up to you. Our prayer request, Lord. I leave up to you for complete healing, Lord. See Alice Adenbrook for from AL, ALS. Just Tita Joss, see Josie for colonoscopy tomorrow, Lord. And Lisel, more on face biopsy negative results on May 18. I pray, O Lord, that uh, you will uh, touch these people, O Lord. Kano man po ang meron sila sa katawan, Lord. I pray for your healing power upon their body. Mm-hmm. Si Josie rin po, Lord, bukas sa colonoscopy. I pray, Lord, na maging negative lahat ang results. No negative, no, no, uh, no, no bad or no positive results will be will be seen. Lahat negative. Kayo po, Lord, ang magayos dito, O Lord, para po sa kanya. At uh, I also pray for the doctor, Lord, uh, who will do the colonoscopy, oh Lord. I also pray for Just B, mm-hmm. Vilma, and Emmanuel Acevedo, C's lungs biopsy. I pray for these three persons, oh Lord, na 
Bigyan nyo rin po sila ng healing, ng, pang, ng healing sa kanilang mga pangangatawan, Lord. And I pray, O oh Lord, na hihipuin nyo ang kanilang lamo la ulo hanggang paa. Si Sister Vilma rin po sa armpit, although magaling na po, pero patuloy nyo po pagkalingin at bigyan nyo po sila ng kalakasan, Lord. I pray for Miguel Noel for brain surgery. Patrick Noel, able to walk at Leonila Samson, dementia. I pray for these three persons also, O Lord, sa kanilang uh, karamdaman sa katawan, Lord. <coughs> si Miguel Noel, Lord, I pray, Lord, na yung surgery niya maging successful. Wala po maging mm -hmm. komplikasyon. I pray for the doctor na who will do the surgery, O Lord. I also pray for Patrick Noel na makalakad na po siya, Lord. At uh, Palakasin niyo po ang kanyang mga tulo, tuhod, ang kanyang binti, O Lord, para hindi po siya maging burden sa kanyang mga kasambahay o sa kanyang mga loved ones. Kay Mami Hila, I pray for dementia na sana po, Lord, uh, makilala niya sa LV at saka si Pastor Bert sa kanila pag-uwi ito at pabigyan po, po nila, Lord, ng uh, pag-aalaga, bigyan po nila si Mami ng time para makapag-spend po sila Lord ng quality time para po sa nanay niya Lord. I also pray for Mrs. Krieger swallowing mm -hmm. problem to gain weight, water, lungs, not to be lonely. Si Diana Lord, my sister-in-law sa Parkinson's at saka si Tita Fe sa left eye surgery sa May 13. I pray Lord for Mrs. Krieger Lord. She is a nice person oh Lord. She is lovable oh Lord. Uh, patal Dagdagan niyo pa po ang kanyang buhay, pahabain niyo pa po, O Lord. Bigyan niyo po, O Lord, yung swallowing problem niya. Heal her, O Lord, po, at mm -hmm. makakalunok po siya ng maayos. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, increase in weight, yung water sa lungs na Lord, alisin niyo po to, Lord. Mm -hmm. Alam po namin na walang imposible sa inyo, Lord. Mm -hmm. uh, po siyang malungkot habang wala si LB. We love Mrs. Krieger. She is a very nice person at She is very open sa church namin, Lord. Kaya itinataas po na siya. Bigyan niyo po po siya ng long life. Si Diana din po sa kanya Parkinson's. I pray, Lord, na sana makangilig ng katawan niya at makakain na rin po siya ng ayos. I also pray for Tita, Tita Pe sa kanya may 13 left eye surgery. I pray for the doctor, ophthalmologist, or mm. whoever na maggagawa ng surgery niya na that it will be a successful operation, Lord. At mag mm. magiging malinaw uli ang kanyang mm. mata dahil ito po yung ginagamit niya sa pabasa sa amin sa Sunday in inyong word sa uh, mga prayer meetings, oh Lord. I also pray for Pastor Wade and Tess Dono Kidney and the veins. I pray for, this, for them also, O oh Lord. Healing be upon mm -hmm. them from their head to their foot, O oh Lord. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Lord, for all this prayer request. Mm -hmm. Lahat po dito, Lord. Healing, hinihingi po namin. Basta sabi niyo nga po, Lord, na healing is faith. Magkaroon lang po kami na enough faith sa inyo. Pagagalingin niyo kami. Thank you, Lord, for your answer prayer. We claim it, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Lord, maraming salamat po sa gabing ito na muli po nagkasama-sama po kami para ipanalangin ang mga bagay at ang mga taong ito, Lord. At maraming salamat po dahil alam po namin na tinugon nyo na po lahat ng ito. Maraming salamat din po sa bawat pamilya na narito, Lord. Po pang manalangin, Lord, every Wednesday, Lord, i-bless nyo po sila, Lord. Pinapanalangin po namin our uh, alit, Castro na may breast cancers, breast cancer and uh, for chemotherapy Lord si Mr. Edge, si Rochelle sa kanyang lung cancer stage 4 and si Janet po sa kanyang breast cancer. Hindi lang po ito yung mga taong uh, napanalangin namin for cancer Lord, lahat po nang may cancer Lord. Panghawakan niyo po sila. Kung may pain man po silang na nararamdaman Lord, uh, tanggalin niyo po ito Lord. Uh, kung depressed mo po sila, Lord, i-comfort niyo po sila, Lord. Lalong-lalo na po kapag uh, nag-undergo po sila ng chemo, Lord. I-comfort po sila, po sila, Lord. Panghawakan niyo po yung mga doctors po, na, uh, doctors, nurses po na humahawak sa kanila, sa kanilang po mga appointment, sa kanilang chemotherapy. At um, napanalangin po namin na magiging uh, buhay na patotoo po sila 
uh, pinagaling nga po nila. Pinapanalangin din po namin ang uh, pagbubuntis po ni Ate Tina. Alam po namin na anytime uh, bibig siya ng uh, mag-deliver na po siya ng baby, ng healthy baby, Lord. Ganun na rin po de Mesa at si Ate Dan Madrid, Lord. Maraming salamat po dahil Uh, binigyan niyo po sila ng blessing, binigyan niyo po sila ng babies, Lord. Alam po namin na ipinanalangin po nila itong mga batang ito. At alam po namin na uh, madideliver po nila itong mga babies na po ito na safe and sound, Lord. At wala po anumang um, sakit, anumang komplikasyon sa kanilang panak, Lord, hanggang lumaki po ang mga batang ito, Lord. Pinapanalangin din po namin, Lord, <coughs> ang comfort and peace sa mga nawalan po ng mahal sa buhay, uh, sa layaw, enigo, giwa mo niyo sa family and yung um, pamilya po ni, uh, ni nanay po na si Francisco Santos po na kakamatay lang, Lord. Kayo po nawa ang um, mag-comfort sa kanila, o oh Lord. At ang, uh, kayo po mag-provide sa lahat po ng kanilang gastusin, sa sa lahat po ng uh, sa buro hanggang sa uh, pag-living po sa, sa kanilang mga mahal sa buhay o Lord. At ipinapanalangin din po namin, Lord, yung uh, youth camp po namin for uh, Friday and Saturday, Lord. Um, nawa po, pangawakan niyo po yung mga volunteers and leaders po na gagamitin niyo po for Friday and Saturday, Lord. And ingatan niyo po kami sa pagpunta hanggang sa pag-uwi po namin, Lord. At um, nawa po, yung mga youth po na kasama namin, Lord, ay marami po silang matutunan, Lord. Ganun rin po yung um, <clears throat> yung mga yung uh, lesson po na pinag-usapan po namin, Lord. Ngayon, uh, pinapanalangin po namin kung may mga pamilya, kaibigan, mga um, kung anong paman po na mga taong kilala po namin na hindi pa po nakakakilala sa inyo, Lord. At um, nag invest po sa mga worldly things, Lord. Uh, panghawakan niyo po sila. I-bless niyo po sila, Lord. At nawa po maging uh, light, and salt po, um, light and salt po kami sa mga buhay nila para po makakilala po sila kay Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. So um, we pray, Lord God, for uh, his just bueno. We pray, Lord God, that you would continue to give him, Lord God, calm spirit. I pray that you would uh, give him, um, you know, like a strength, Lord God, to realize all the things that he needs to do, Lord God, in class. I pray for Allison, Lord. I pray for his final, for her final exam. This coming uh, at tomorrow, Lord, let your wisdom be upon her, Lord. And I pray that you would remember all the things that she needs to remember for the exam. And I pray that you would uh, help her analyze, Lord, as she will choose the right answer for the test. Lord, we pray, Lord God, for Nico, uh, for the entrance exam, Lord God, in Lipa Science, Lord. I pray that you would give uh, uh, Nico. Lord, wisdom for the things, Lord God, na, that he needs that he needs to answer, Lord God, in the exam. And I pray that your favor will be upon him, Lord. I pray, Lord God, for Sister Pepo, Cyrus, and Tep, Lord God. Lord, you know their needs, Lord God. You know that what they're going through. And you know, Lord God, what's the best fit job, Lord God, there is uh, that you have to offer them, Lord. I pray that you would lead them to people, Lord God. Connections, Lord God, that would lead them, Lord God, to find a job, Lord God, that would uh, glorify your name and would, be, would best fit, Lord God, their skills, Lord God. And I pray, oh God, that you would uh, give them favor, Lord God, for the salary, oh God, that they're going to have, Lord. Bless them, Lord God, in their new journey, Lord God, as they step on, Lord God, to have a new job. That, that you have given to them, Lord. I pray for uh, for Jeff, Lord God, last 12 days na lang po niya, Lord, sa kanyang pag-aara, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, because like, it's been so many years, Lord God, na talagang binuno niya to, Lord, yung pag-aara na to, Lord God. 
And I thank you for all the encouragement that you have given him, Lord God, to finish the course, Lord God, that you have made him start, Lord. I pray for favor. I pray, Lord God, that you would give him favor in the last test, Lord God, or in the last submissions, Lord God, is going to make. I pray, Lord God, that you would get a good grade, Lord God, for, for this, Lord. And I just praise you, Lord God, for the things that you have taught him, Lord God, uh, reflections, Lord God, and everything, Lord God, that you have given him. Lord, when he, when, uh, uh, nung to time, Lord, na siya nag-aaral pa noon, at saka itong huling mga panahon na mag-aaral siya, Lord. Let your favor be upon him, I pray, Lord. I pray for Brother Alvin, Lord, plan. Lord, as he go back to the Philippines from June 1 to 28, I, I pray for your provisions, Lord God, to be upon him. I pray for a safe travel. I pray, oh God, that you would give him wisdom where to go and when to go, Lord. And I pray that your hand would be upon him, Lord God, in the Philippines, Lord God. May he be a channel of blessings to the people around him as he stay there, Lord. Father, I thank you, Lord God, for, for I know that you will make, Lord God, our, the ministry in LA Fitness, Lord God, very safe and secure. I pray, Lord God, for your hedge of protection, Lord God, in every corners of the church, in every part of the courtyard, Lord God. I pray that your spirit, Lord God, would just hover around, Lord God, that place. Send charge your angels, Lord God, around the place to keep the place safe, Lord God. And I pray that you would give us wisdom, Lord God, uh, in dealing with the people, Lord God. Lord, uh, every visitors, anything, Lord God, um, so that we can handle, Lord God, things according to your will, Lord God. Thank you, Lord God, for, for the safety, Lord God, that you have given to us, Lord. I pray for Jarrell and his wife, Lord. John's family for the approval of their papers. Lord, uh, uh, perfect plan, Lord, for their family. And I know, God, na, it's good to for your perfect timing. And I pray, oh God, that I know that if it's truly be your will, Lord God, all of these papers will be approved at the perfect time. And they will be here, Lord God in your own time, Lord. And I pray, Lord God, that when they're here, Lord God, that time that you would use them, Lord God, for your glory. And they will be a Lord God of a blessing, Lord God, to the people around us, Lord. I pray for Brother Shane, Lord. I pray for his child, Lord, cause to thee, Lord God. I pray, Lord God, as he's going through this um, tough time in his life, I pray, oh God, that you would uh, give him wisdom, Lord. And change his heart, Lord God, as he um, uh, continue, Lord God, to, to get, Lord God, the custody, if you would allow it, Lord. I pray, oh God, that this would be a learning season for him, Lord God, as he uh, continue to battle, Lord God. And I pray that your hand would be upon him, Lord God. Give him give the jurors or the judge wisdom, Lord God, as he, as they on the child custody, Lord. I pray for Sister Rachel. I pray that she would pass, Lord God, and click six. Um, I pray that she would uh, miss the Lord God and her, Lord God, in the life of her family. And I pray God that she takes the, the test, Lord God. Um, she will pass it one time, Lord. Lord, I pray for Raimundo Anastasio Madrid in Jaya, Lord God, for the new house that you're going to give to him. That to them, Lord. I know that your provisions are there. And I pray, oh God, as you as you prepare the house, Lord God, you would prepare their hearts to Lord God to be right before you. Uh, that they would uh, allow, Lord God, if they were be given a house, Lord God, their hearts are ready, Lord God, to host a uh, gathering, Lord God, for your glory, Lord God, Bible study, so that they'll be able to bless other people too, Lord God. Actually, bless them spiritually. Bless them, Lord God, uh, with a heart, Lord God, that is right before you, Lord. I thank you, Lord God, for protecting, Lord God, the, the Pagios, Lord God, as right now, Lord God, they're in the 
Philippines. I pray that they would time. And I pray that they would be a blessing, Lord God, to the people around them as they, as they travel there, Lord. Father, I pray for my son, Job. I, I pray that you would give him direction, Lord God. Sign him, Lord God. Focus, Lord God. Lord, you, you know him, Lord God. You are the keeper of his soul. You know every plan, Lord God, you have in his life. And I, I know, Lord God, whatever... Um, uh, struggles, Lord God, as he's experiencing right now. I pray that you would help him, Lord. I pray that you would direct his life, God. Father, I pray, oh God, that you would uh, continue, Lord God, to show your love to him, Lord. And your grace will be sufficient, Lord God, in everything, Lord. And I pray, oh God, that he will turn back to you, Lord God. Amen. That he would find his purpose in you. Amen, Lord. Touch him right now, Lord God. Oh, God. If that everything, Lord God, I just come to you. Yes, just Lord. ask for your grace. Ask for your mercy, Lord God. Hallelujah. You know him, Lord God. And you can change his ways and you can change his mind. I've been in touch, Lord. Yes, Lord. Amen. Oh, God. Let your hand be upon him, Lord. Oh, and I know, Lord God, that you have a purpose in his life. Oh, I just come to you, Lord God, in prayer. And I pray, oh God, that you would give us wisdom to do the things that we need to do, Lord God, to help him, Lord God. Your hand is not too short, Lord God. And we will never stop, Lord God, praying, Lord God, until we get, Lord God, until his life is changed, Lord God, for your glory. Amen. Lord, I pray, oh God, for our sister, for God in life, would be upon her, Lord, give her wisdom, Lord. I pray, oh God, that you would give her wisdom, Lord God. And I pray, Lord, that she will not do things because she likes to do it, Lord. Lord, she needs you right now, Lord God. And I know, God, that your provisions will be abundant for her. For I have surely experienced that, God, in our lives, Lord. God, I pray, Lord God, that you would continue to bless the people around her, Lord God, has been used, Lord God. So, guys, please, on your Lord. I pray, Father, I pray, Lord God, that you would um, bless those people who blessed her, Lord. I pray, oh God, in, in this new chapter of her life, I pray, oh God, that you would um, continue, Lord God, to give her wisdom, Lord God. See things beyond what she knows, Lord. And let your hand be upon her, I pray in Jesus' name. And I pray that you will continue to bless her, Lord. And I pray, oh God, thank you, Lord God, for granting, Lord God, the, uh, her application, Lord God, to the university, Lord God, that you have given her a lot of favor, Lord. Father, I pray, oh God, if the prayer hand would be upon him, Lord God, I pray, oh God, that you will answer, Lord God, any unwhis unwhispered prayer, Lord God, right now. Father, thank you for your presence, Lord. Thank you for your love. For truly, Lord God, it's abundant, Lord God. That you will never stop, Lord God. You will never Lord God. God, our love that keeps on reaching us, Lord. First, Lord God, you know all, Lord God, na kailang mo gay sa amin that we're asking from you, Lord. And I pray, oh God, in all of the struggles that we have in our lives, Lord, I pray that your name will be glorified, Lord. In Jesus' name, pray.
Amen. Heavenly Father, we continue to be in your presence, O oh Lord, and lift up, O oh God, our people, our loved ones, our brothers and sisters, our youth, our families, and so on. Lord, we thank you that you are always able and that you listen to our prayers. You hear our prayers because you're full of mercy and compassion. Lord God, in the name of Jesus Christ, we lift up to you our youth. Will you spending overnight in the camp, oh God, sometime soon? Lord, I confess your word over them. You said, dear Jesus, that if we ask anything in your name, the Father who is in heaven, grant it that he may be glorified in the Son. Lord Jesus, almighty God, deliver the God of mercy and truth. We plead with you that you will be with our young people. Be with them, go before them, O oh God, as they go out to the camp. Make them instruments, O oh God, of your favor that they can receive, Lord, and pass it on to people, especially to those who know you not. May this camping time, Lord God, be a blessed one. Help them to be, to realize, O oh Lord, or experience what they have never had experience in the past. May everything that will be said and done during the camp help them realize how good you are and how true your rewards are, O oh God, to any one who is faithful to you. May their experiences, O oh God, bring them to higher heights and deeper depths in you. We thank you for using them, Lord, in bringing in other young people to the fold of God. We thank you for using them in bringing all, all kinds of people to your kingdom. We ask that you anoint them and give them even greater gifts than what you have already given them, that they can use the gifts of the Lord in power, the gifts of the Holy Spirit, with much power in drawing people, not only through the words that come out to their lips, but also in the power that they live in you. Lord God, use them, cover them with a precious blood of Jesus Christ. While they're there at the camp, Lord, protect them. Assign your guardian angels, O oh Lord, from east to west and from north to south. God, we plead for your blood upon them. Keep them healthy, Lord. Give them wisdom, Lord God, so that they can be used, O oh Lord for your glory and for your kingdom. We thank you for every provision that you will have given them during this time of camping. Use them and make a change, Lord, if need be, that they may be greater and become better vessels in the service, servitude of the Lord. God, we also thank you for the opportunity of evangelism through the sanitizer, O oh Lord. God, little things can draw people to you. Give power, Lord, upon those that have the opportunity to evangelize. Give them a mighty anointing 
that in every word that they speak out of your word of God, there will be power and people who know you not will be convinced and they will be drawn to the foot of the cross of Jesus Christ. We thank you for the coming Father's Day. Lord, we thank you for the fathers. We thank you again, O oh Lord, for the people in church, O oh God, who, part who will participate in making this event a successful one. May everything done, Lord God, booster the faith and the love of each father, O oh God, who will hear your word and realize how much you love them. Thank you for meeting every need for this event. We thank you for victory. We thank you for love. We thank you for unity in our church, oh God. We love our fathers. We thank you for every provision that you make. Thank you, Lord, for the joy in doing service one for another. The family camp is coming soon, Lord. Prepare our hearts for that. We ask that you will go before us, Lord. Go before every family and make this a wonderful, oh God, time together for the families, Lord, to really experience wonderful time with you and with one another. Thank you for providing every need for this camping, Lord. Thank you, God, for the wonderful, not only physical, but also spiritual results of this camping, being together, discussing together, enjoying one another in your presence. Thank you, Lord God, for a wonderful event. Make us, oh God, instruments of bringing people to you, not only during the camping time, Lord, but also after that, Lord, thank you for the anointing that you put in our hands, oh God, and for putting the gospel, the responsibility upon our shoulders. Help us, oh God. Make us conscious of your love. Make us conscious, Lord, that we have a duty, Lord God, to share your gospel, the gospel of salvation, the gospel of love the gospel of life for others as well. Thank you, Lord God, for everything that you'll do. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, we pray. Amen. I'm sorry. Tali ko nalang pati, Pepe. Sorry, naklik ko po. Yes, Lord, we thank you, Lord God. We continue to pray, Lord God, for our volleyball part three. We pray, Lord God, that we will make use of this as an evangelism tool as a connecting event to people, Lord, na gusto makakilala sa iyo, Panginoon. We pray for our mga sinag teachers namin, Panginoon, yung mga teachers namin sa sa kids ministry. Uh, pagpalain niyo po sila, Panginoon, sa trip nila San Diego. Uh, magkaroon po sila ng relaxation and uh, um, uh, kahit pa paano, Panginoon, may mapakita namin yung pasasalamat namin sa ministry nila, Panginoon. Ganun din, Panginoon, we, we pray for LNG Nursing Group, Aerotechnic, and uh, Retailo sa kanilang mga negosyo, Panginoon. We pray for protection sa business nila. Bless mo po sila financially. Palaguin po sila I-provide mo po yung mga needs na Panginoon at gamitin niyo po sila para po sa inyong glory, Panginoon. Maraming salamat, Panginoon, sa gabi na to. Dalangin namin na tingin niyo lahat ang aming dalangin, Panginoon. Let me uh, speak your blessings, Lord God, to your people. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord, make his, uh, keep, uh, the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn His face toward you and give you peace. In the name of the Father and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Pwede na tayong mag picture picture. Okay. Okay. Okay, one, two.
two, three, smile. There you go. <laughs> okay, guys. Salamat. Bye po. See uh, you. Walang Friday. Bye, Friday. Bye, 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 Bye. We love you. Bye. 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 See you. Bye. 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 Bye.